Good morning, Sandy here. Welcome back to my weekly five minute faith life vlog. Today is Wednesday and I have a late start at the bank, so I thought I would take advantage of my long, luxurious morning and talk a little bit about God. So I had an epiphany this morning. I believe in Father, Son, Holy Spirit. I believe in Jesus. I I believe in Jesus because he was here, he existed, he went through the human experience. He died for me, he died for all of us. He took on my sin, your sin, his sin, her sin. He died for us, having a human experience. That speaks to me. I, I believe in Jesus, I feel Jesus' love. And Holy Spirit, this gift, he dwells inside me and is sort of this audible compass um, I'm really working at my relationship to hear that better, which I'll speak to more in a minute. The father part, um, there's so many references how much God loves me and I listen to a lot of Christian radio. In the morning there is a show, Carl and Crew, on WMBI, Moody Bible Radio here in Chicago, it's 90.1 FM. And they're always speaking to how God so loved us and I think I struggle with that. I don't know if I'm still stuck in Old Testament, you know, the angry, wrathful God, the jealous God. I had the epiphany though, since Derek and I never had kids, we don't, we don't know the experience of being a parent. I have no um, real concept of what it's like to be a mother loving my child. And I think maybe that's where the disconnect is. And now that I know where the disconnect is, I can maybe tackle the problem <laughs> more effectively because I do see it as a problem. I see it as a big problem if I don't have conviction of how much God loves me. Um, so I don't know, maybe you have a similar situation. I, I wanted to throw that out there and share that with you. And then Holy Spirit, trying to connect better with Holy Spirit, this compass that lives inside you. I, I have this analogy in my head where you're at a party and there's music in the background, but there's just so much like laughter and talking and clinking of glasses. Like you're aware there's music there, but you don't really hear the music. And so I kind of have two ways of looking at this. For myself, the noise, the laughter, the talking, the clinking of glasses, the noise that prevents me from really hearing the music, this beautiful, perfect music is my own struggle with doing what's right, with choosing virtuous behavior all the time. I am human and humans are inclined to be a little selfish, to be angry, resentful, vengeful, lazy. Uh, so I think the noise I hear is just myself sort of arguing with what Holy Spirit is asking of me, expecting of me. And I think the better I can get as, at just choosing the virtuous behaviors and giving up self, the more clearly I'm gonna hear that music and the easier it will be to follow the music. And then I suppose if you don't have a very strong belief in Holy Spirit or really understand what Holy Spirit is, I mean, maybe you don't even hear the music. You're just at a party <laughs> and having a good old time. Um, so that's how that analogy plays out. Yeah, these are just things I'm mulling over in my head this morning, and I think that's kind of where I'm going to leave it. What do you think of Father, Son, Holy Spirit? I guess it's a good thing it's in three pieces, because at least there's something, at least one thing maybe our simple brains can like latch onto and, and have some understanding of before the ultimate like full knowledge of heaven, of eternal life. Um, so yeah, tell me, what do you think? Do you relate at all to what I'm saying? Did you have an aha moment? That's it. Uh, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. I hope I see you next week, not for my glory, but for God's. God bless and bye.